Nola Gent here at Fiorella's Cafe. Great fried chicken. Yeah. Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, it's time for you to eat with me New Orleans style fried chicken at the original Fiorella's Cafe, which is some of the top New Orleans fried chicken. The original Fiorella's Cafe is located in the New Orleans neighborhood of Gentilly, which is about 11 minutes and 5 miles away from the French Quarter. The original Fiorella's Cafe is owned by two brothers, Kelly and Kelsey Fiorella, who opened the current location in 2016. But the history of the restaurant goes back much further. Their grandfather, Anthony, moved from Morgan City, Louisiana to the New Orleans neighborhood of Central City, where he opened a grocery store on the corner of Clio and Simon Bolivar Avenue, which became the family business Fiorella's Fine Foods. So let's just go ahead and head on inside here and check this spot out. I'm excited as I always loved their fried chicken in the past and I heard it's still fantastic in here now. Oh yes. So Anthony's son and the current owners, Kelly and Kelsey's father, CJ, traveled to the French Quarter to get produce for their grocery store at the French Quarter where he would go to grab coffee at a restaurant across the street from the market. One morning, CJ went to get his usual cup of coffee when the owner told him he had to give up the business for health reasons and it was uh, his if CJ wanted to buy it. The rest is history and the Fiorella family opened their restaurant for business as Fiorella's Cafe on May 3rd, 1985. They ran the restaurant for many years at its original location near the French market until selling the business in 1999. The Fiorella's in the French Quarter closed permanently in 2020 and it had kept the name of Fiorella's although no one named Fiorella had owned it since 1999. The Fiorella family fried chicken recipe was legendary and it has been ranked by many as some of the best New Orleans style fried chicken in the city. The Fiorella brothers found a location they liked at the former Gentilly neighborhood restaurant Teddy's Grill which was a restaurant with a butcher shop next door that was perfect for their plans to get the Fiorella family back into the restaurant business much to the joy of the hordes of fans that love the now legendary food of the Fiorella family. And as you can tell from the bull on the outside sign and the two cow heads inside here, they kept a lot of the original decor from the previous restaurant that had the butcher shop next to it. So there is no table service here. You just walk up to the counter and order up here. So let's check out the menu and see what we're going to get today. So we get a nice selection of daily specials here with Monday red beans and rice, Tuesday meatloaf, Wednesday Italian sausage and shells, Thursday, butter beans and rice. Friday, shrimp creole. Ooh, and that looks really good too. Then we have salads with an Italian salad, chef salad, chicken salad, Caesar salad, and shrimp salad. And then we have our entrees, the fried chicken served with two sides. That's the legendary stuff. A hamburger steak, a grilled chicken breast, a meal cutlet, meatballs and spaghetti, soft shell crab, Dill Parmesan, Chicken Parmesan, Fried Shrimp, Fried Oysters, Fried Catfish, Liver and Onions, Seafood Platter. Then we have our sides of a house salad, Caesar, Vegetable of the Day, Mashed Potatoes, French Fries, and Potato Salad. Then we have our sandwiches with a club, a muffaletta, a stromboli, a grilled cheese. Then our po' boys with roast beef, barbecue beef, turkey, ham, fried shrimp, fried catfish, fried oyster, hot sausage. And then we have add-ons with onion rings, Uncle Paul's chicken cracklins, desserts, Creole cream cheesecake, white chocolate bread pudding, lemon meringue pie, and red velvet cake. And then a selection of drinks. So my total was $15.65 and I decided to get a chicken parmesan and an iced tea while my dining companion got the fried chicken. But I got fried chicken too with my chicken parmesan. But I'm going to dig into some of this fried chicken breast real quick first. Ooh, look at this. This is such good fried chicken. Ooh, the flavor is already coming up to my mouth through the simple smell of how delicious it is. My mouth is watering. This stuff's so great. Oh, look at this beautiful, beautiful piece of fried chicken. Oh, mm, oh it's so good. Fried chicken here is definitely some of the top chicken in New Orleans. 
but I wanted a little more than just chicken, so I got the chicken parmesan, which is fried chicken and pasta with a little red gravy on it, which, uh, hey, I'm getting more fried chicken, right? So I get the extra bonus of fried chicken and pasta, and I'm hoping it's going to be great. The only thing I didn't like is I didn't have real butter. They have this fresh buttery taste bread. It ain't real butter. I need real butter, bro. It's the only complaint I have about anything in this place. Use the real butter, please. Okay, we're going to sample a little of this delicious pasta, a little bite of uh, chicken in it, and look at all this delicious cheese and sauce. Oh, perfect. The fried chicken is amazing. So if you love good fried chicken like I do, and you like to destroy fried chicken like I am, just go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, but I really would appreciate it. And it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. And also, if you could comment below and refer this video to any of your contacts that would be interested in it, that also really does help me, and thank you so much. The fried chicken and the chicken parmesan is just as good as the fried chicken on the bone I sampled earlier. And it's also just as good as all the times that I had had it in the past and the location in the French Quarter. It might even be better. The fried chicken is fantastic today. Ooh, ho, ho. So this stuff is so good. So a lot of people had reported that the location in the French Quarter that wasn't run by the Fiorella family had kind of slipped on the uh, quality control and had not uh, maintained quite as good of a standard of amazing fried chicken as they have here now and I'm so glad to be able to have the famous Fiorella's recipe fried chicken again because this stuff is so good and let me tell you this pasta is also cooked absolutely perfectly the sauce on this pasta is so delicious and flavorful combined with the chicken it's definitely one of the most flavorful delicious chicken parmesans I think I've ever had maybe Ooh, those are uh, mighty uh, Mighty high praise as many chicken parmesans as I've had in my life. This definitely is one of the better flavored tasting and just the texture of everything is fantastic. Topped off with just perfect, perfect fried chicken. Oh, so good. The stuff is just such a delicious, amazing meal and every bite is just so just mm, wonderful. See how hot and wonderful it is, steam coming off the chicken, steam coming off my pasta. It's just a nice hot meal on a cooler day that's just warming me up and making me feel absolutely wonderful. Oh, this is so good and delicious in every way. I'm so happy. I've been waiting so long to try this. It's been uh, a good many years, actually, since I've had some Fiorella's chicken, um, so I'm glad that I finally decided to motivate and get out of here to take down the chicken again and I'm definitely going to have to eat more of this stuff sooner than later because it is beautiful, beautiful food. And this place definitely is popular in the neighborhood, so there weren't a whole lot of people eating inside the restaurant, but the entire time I was eating here they had a constant stream of people picking up to go orders or ordering carry-out food, so they definitely have made a name for themselves in this neighborhood with good reason. This is some mighty fine eating here and very delicious food. So I certainly look forward to sampling a lot more of the menu. And oh, it's just such a good experience here. I really kind of like the uh, design they've done in here with leaving a lot of the older elements at all like blends together to make for just a great New Orleans unique experience that I don't know where else in the world that you're going to find a place with fantastic fried chicken, a great selection of Italian foods, and soft shell crabs, and shrimp creole. It's uh, uniquely New Orleans in so many ways, and just a wonderful place that is uh, uniquely New Orleans, and a neighborhood joint that definitely is worthy of checking out. And whoa, what a treat this food is. You definitely have to sample it to believe it in many ways. And uh, gotta say, I mean, people always praise how fantastic Willie Mays uh, chicken is, which it's a good chicken, but I've always thought the Fiorella's recipe was one of the better ones. I've also thought that Coop's Place in the French Quarter nearby the old uh, French Quarter location of Fiorella's also has a fantastic fried chicken as well. So that's another wonderful fried chicken that you should check out when you're in town. Uh, currently, the last I looked though, Coop's is still closed due to the 
current situation in the world of uh, so many places being closed. The French Quarter is sadly very much deserted and not a lot going on and it keeps getting rougher and rougher and our politicians seem to keep shutting it down stricter and stricter during the major days where they would be getting most of the traffic that keeps them in business the rest of the year. So we will see how that looks out. We're looking at a very unhappy Mardi Gras 2021 in New Orleans French Quarter. Sadly, we've got some bad news that a lot of things are being forced to close down for several days before our main big huge tourist day of Mardi Gras 2021. So, oh my goodness, so many wonderful places that will be in trouble. So when things open up again, do your best to please support some of those places that will be financially hurting after not being able to engage in business on the biggest holiday of the year for their business. But oh, so many good things to eat all throughout New Orleans. All of our businesses definitely deserve and need as much support as we can give them. And wow, especially places that go above and beyond and make just amazing top tier chicken like this. Oh my gosh. And all their other food I've ever eaten before has been fantastic. And I've always enjoyed every meal I've ever had at the original Fiorella's back in the French Quarter. And now this one equally is, oh, definitely on my must-do list for being on my regular rotation. I'm a little sad that I waited so long to get to Gentilly and try it out. Uh, you know, it's just it's outside my normal uh, neighborhood range of where I go. But I also found some other fun things right next door that we're also going to have an upcoming video about that involves uh, crawfish and barbecue. And hey, if you've been loving this wonderful fried chicken experience as much as me, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and I really would appreciate it. But now I am done and I've destroyed that entire plate of food. Wow. Now, I couldn't finish my sides, the bread, I didn't like the butter, and then the cabbage I had on the side, I didn't finish either. But, oh, what a wonderful experience. Thanks so much to everybody at Fiorella's for a wonderful, fantastic experience. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.